What's going on everybody? The Devout Joystick is here. My name is Chris and we are gonna be talking about the new Nintendo Switch that is rumored, rumored to come out in the next two years. Now, this is gonna be a three part series because there's three big names, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. We're gonna be uncovering what my opinion of the price what I anticipate for new IP, what do I expect from Nintendo for this new console. So be sure to stay tuned and smash that subscribe button and become a part of the Joystick for Life family. And I'll see you in this video. Nintendo has been a staple in my household since I could vaguely remember. I was gnawing on my brother's controllers when he was playing Super Mario World on Super Nintendo, and I was just attached to video games. As I grew up from Nintendo 64 to the GameCube, Game Boy Advances, Game Boys, Nintendo DS's, and Nintendo 3DS's, and I'm just gonna name everything in the Nintendo's library. Nintendo has done astronomical numbers in many different genres, and rightfully so, they know how to make a good game. There's no doubt about that. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time being one of my favorite games, Nintendo Switch is talking about releasing a new console. It may just be an addition like a pro version or a slim version or something like that is it going to release new hardware or is it going to just be a modification of the nintendo switch is it going to be something entirely different i have no idea i love the nintendo switch's idea i love how you can pick up and go and you can connect with people you can play dock or you can play undock that's pretty cool a new console is handheld and it's a console it's three in one it's price points ips and what do i expect so price point wise when i I bought the Nintendo Switch. I was looking all over in nearby adjacent cities and I was looking everywhere for this Nintendo Switch. I was even left on hold by Walmart when I finally had it. I was driving 30 minutes and said, hey, do you have any Nintendo Switches? And they said, please hold. Got it anyway. Last one in stock and I just got Breath of the Wild. That was my first game. That was my first game and I was just completely completely impressed. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was completely impressed. It was amazing. It was an amazing game. Super amazing. What I'm looking for in the next couple years, there's supposed to be a core Pokemon game coming out for the Switch. This is Nintendo's big chance. Pokemon in itself is more than 45 million dollars just the name it is amazing how much pokemon has done in the last 20 years but it stayed bird's eye view small chibi sized bodies eight gems elite four that's it end game content maybe a mewtwo here maybe some legendary trios there the technology has increased surpassed game boy color let's let's just be fair there it, it just passed a handheld space so what i would like to see and you know what i'm leaning to make it 3d make it skyrim level if they made this game an open world and they made it where you can go through the forest and you can go anywhere and there's no wall blocks there's no instancing there's no anything the pokemon show up like pokemon go that was a nice touch that was what a lot of fans wanted to see but don't take the battle mechanic away don't take any of the main things that make core pokemon fans love the game they have a chance to do it right and they have a chance to make it what it needs to be if they do this right Pokemon will soar so much higher. It would be so much more impressive. It might mess around and win game of the year. If they do it right, if they do it right, Pokemon will be a game of the year nominee. They have the orchestra, they have the gameplay, they have the technology. Nintendo, do it. The anime is making Pokemon blow up for little kids but gamers that are 20 years old and up, they want to see something that grows up with them. They wanna see something that is going to make them want to play Pokemon and keep playing it. Replayability, something that matters. Gold and Silver were one of the best Pokemon games in the genre of Pokemon because you could go to Johto 
And then after you were done with Johto, you went to Kanto. And then you battled everybody that you battled in the red and blue era and all of those. Then when they added Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you have Pokemon following you. It's like Game Freak just teases us with what they can do. And the and the, the whole aspect of Game Freak just teasing me is just mildly irritating. But if Game Freak band together with Nintendo and made something truly special, 25 year anniversary is right around the corner. They can do it. I know they can do it. I know they can do it. So I'm just waiting for that. But another thing I would like to see is I would like to see a new RPG. I would like to see a new action adventure. I would even like to see a new shooter. Splatoon, that, that's a good game. That is something that reminded me a little bit of Kids Next Door. And it reminded me something of like just rambunctious kids just getting after like having a little paint, paint gun fight. I, I like that idea. I really do. But I want to see a new Earthbound. I want to see Earthbound. I want to see Ness's home game because I had to go back. I had to get put on because when I heard about Ness, it wasn't until Brawl of Super Smash Brothers or Super Smash Brothers made like when I heard about Ness. When I heard about Ness, I was completely thrown away because I was trying to unlock the last character of Super Smash Brothers and that was a character I could not find and not figure out how to do it. So just seeing new games like that, new games of people's favorite characters in Super Smash Brothers, I would like to see more of that. So a new Kid Icarus. I played Kid Icarus Uprising a little bit on the 3DS and I didn't know what was going on. I really didn't know what was going on. So I would like to see new games, home games of the Super Smash Brothers characters that are a Mr. Game & Watch. That would also be impressive too. But the price point, price point, Nintendo will probably make it, in my thought process, maybe $250, $300. I don't think they are gonna go above $300, depending on the specs, the hardware, and what it does. The battery life, uh, better graphics card, will it, if it's still the dock and the undock feature, will it support 1080p undocked instead of 720? What will it what will it do? That's what I'm looking forward to. So that's all I've got pretty much for my thoughts and my predictions on the Nintendo Switch and what I'm really looking for for new games coming out in the next two years. That's what I'm really looking for. Even if Nintendo backs off from the idea of a new console, I want to see them make new games that pertain to those. Earthbound, Kid Icarus, new games like that. Even a new Star Fox game, that's what I wanna see. So leave a comment and let me know what games you would like to see and let me know what is your favorite Smash Brothers character. Let me know mine, Pikachu, and Kid Icarus. Pit, Dark Pit. Ness, hmm, but the Toon Link, Link, the whole link line, I'm adoring of. That's the end of the Devout Joystick video, and I will see you guys next time.